round that we call these stories always here, but tonight he's here for us in the value room. Give it up for Daniel Coyne. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Two dollars for Barney's, everybody. Very excited to be here. Thank you guys for coming tonight. I appreciate it. Um, this whole front row is reserved for my family, so that is not caught in traffic. Or but thank you guys for coming. Let's give it a go again. Yeah, there you go. We got singles in the house. We have singles here. We got a good looking crowd. Singles. When you're single, you have a lot of people in your life who aren't. They try to live their single life vicariously through you. Um, this is what my uncle Saul back in Pennsylvania does to me. By asking me the same set of questions every time I go home to visit. So Daniel, how are you liking California? Weather's nice, I bet. Huh? Say, uh, how many broads you banging out there in LA? <laughs> This is the only question he's asked me the past seven Thanksgiving. <laughs> and he gets so upset with me if I say there are none. You're not getting any pussy. You're 27 years old. As if that's enough to get me laid, right? <laughs> oh, you're right. Uncle Saul, why am I thinking that? <laughs> And some at the bar, I'm walking up to the hottest group of girls I can find. Just, excuse me, ladies. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I just have one thing to say. I'm 27 years old. That's right. Born in 87. They'd be like, oh my god, did he just say he's 27? Should we fucking one at a time or all together? All together? <laughs> I try to tell him, man, Uncle Saul, this is LA out here. This is like the pro leagues of hot girls. Alright? Other cities are like minor league farm systems. <laughs> girls grow up there, they train. <laughs> They get hotter and hotter. Eventually their personalities are douchey enough. They ship them out here to Los Angeles. <laughs> ship down schlubs like me. <laughs> Every single guy I've talked to thinks he'd be a king if he were still. I'm sorry. I fucked that up. Every married guy I talk to. <laughs> Every married guy I talk to you thinks you'd be a king if you were still single today. You know, and it puts a weird expectation on me as a single guy. Uh, like, girls don't get that kind of pressure from their aunts, do they? <laughs> they go home for the holidays. Now listen, Stacey, I'm a married woman. But if I was you single out there in Los Angeles, I'd be blowing every cock west of sunset. <laughs> My aunt says that to my sister all the time. <laughs> um, I have a question. When you check out a woman, do you pay more attention to her ass or her boobs? Uh, 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 I was only talking to the ladies in the audience. <laughs> Women check out other women all the time. Some aren't even shy either. They would just grip each other right up. Oh my god, you look so cute. Look at that dress. Your body looks so nice. Look at your boobs. Oh my god. I'm jealous. I wish I had those. That's really just a female thing though, you know? I'm off to go up to my guy friends. Jason! Jason, what's up, bro? Thanks for coming out tonight. We're gonna have a good time. By the way, love this outfit, dude. Super cute. Super cute. These jeans you got on, what do you get a little bollocks there? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I am single though, and maybe you probably can't.
can't tell from me acting like I'm grabbing my friend's balls. But, uh, I am single. It's very expensive being single when you're a guy. It's like dinners and drinks and movies. You're paying for two. If those two people aren't having sex after all that, one of them is very disappointed. <laughs> And if those two people are having sex after all that, the other one is going to be very disappointed. <laughs> I think every date that doesn't result in sex should be a tax write-off. <laughs> comes rolling around, I save my receipts. Right? That'd be the best. Log on to TurboTax in April. Got my receipts with you from failed dates from the past year. You're all bitter looking through them. Oh, I remember this one. Tamara, last November. $79 sushi dinner, not even a hand job? <laughs> There's nothing worse though than when you're on a first date, you have absolutely nothing to talk about, no common interests. The conversation amongst you just has no information exchange whatsoever. I'll say, so what do you like to do for fun? Um, I'm a bit of a foodie. I love to eat good food. You like to eat food for fun. That's the best you got for me. Every living thing on earth needs to eat to survive. That's your fucking hobby? Wow. Eat food. What else you like to do? Drink water? Breathe oxygen? Yeah, yeah you're right. We're sitting at a restaurant and you're telling me how much you like to eat food. No shit. <laughs> Slow burn on that. <laughs> the end. And it's only skinny people that talk about how much they like to eat food. You know this? Uh, fat people don't like talking about that so much. <laughs> and that's wrong. There's a lot of people. You know, they struggle with weight, they're bigger, slow metabolism, so what? You don't gotta brag in front of them, they can't help it, you know? We're at a restaurant, people can hear you. The 300 pound girl at the table next to us eating the bacon cheeseburger, she's the food. <laughs> she's the food. There's some skinny chick talking about how she likes to eat food. Poor girl can't help it. <laughs> it would be like me having a cocktail right in front of an alcoholic, just rubbing it in. You know, I could have this whole drink and it wouldn't even ruin my family. <laughs> Don't even have to beat my wife and kids. <laughs> Cheers. Daniel <laughs> Point, everybody, thanks for being here.